In a world full of noise and high expectations, the real path to success is often found in being alone. As Buddha once said, loneliness is the poverty of self, solitude is the richness of self. Are you feeling stressed by the pressures of modern life and out of touch with your true purpose? You're not alone. In this video, we'll dive into 10 powerful Buddhist principles that show why being alone isn't a sign of weakness. It's the key to unlocking your full potential. Think about it. How many of us have lost track of our goals in the constant rush? How often have we been pulled in every direction but the right one? This isn't just another self-help video. It's about discovering wisdom that has lasted through time wisdom that can change your life if you accept it. Don't skip any of these principles, because one of them might be the breakthrough you've been waiting for. Ready to see how solitude can be your biggest asset in reaching your goals? Watch until the end. Your journey to real success starts here. 1. Embrace solitude for self-discovery. In the quiet of solitude, we find a special place a space where the world's noise fades away and the inner voice of the soul grows stronger. Solitude isn't about being lonely, but about rediscovering who we really are. In this peaceful setting, we become more aware of our desires, strengths and weaknesses. Alone, free from distractions, we have a rare chance to see ourselves clearly and understand the deeper parts of our mind. As Buddha wisely said, you, yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. This reminds us that through self-reflection in solitude, we discover self-love and compassion. When we step back from the outside world, we shed the weight of society's expectations and pressures. Our path becomes clearer, no longer clouded by the opinions or judgments of others. The goals we once struggled to see become sharp and focused. Aligning with these goals feels effortless, a natural process that happens when we are honest with ourselves. In Buddhist philosophy, this inward journey isn't just helpful, it's necessary. The teachings encourage us to embrace solitude to understand our minds and gain wisdom. Solitude is the doorway to the temple of your soul. When we are alone, we step into this sacred space, and in the stillness, we explore the truths that are often hidden by the noise of daily life. Practicing solitude can begin with small steps, perhaps a few minutes of quiet meditation or a peaceful walk in nature. Over time, as we become more comfortable being with ourselves, we can gradually extend this time, allowing ourselves to dive deeper into our inner world. Through this journey of self-exploration, we learn to set goals that truly reflect who we are. We stop being influenced by the outside world's desires. Instead, we choose paths that align with our deepest values and dreams. In the calm of solitude, we can hear our inner wisdom guiding us toward our true purpose. Think about the story of the monk who chose to live alone in the mountains far from society's distractions. In his solitude, he didn't feel lonely, but instead found deep peace and enlightenment. The mountains became his teachers, and the silence became his guide. He realized that without others around, he could face his fears, doubts and desires, discovering profound truths within himself. This story shows us the power of solitude for self-discovery reminding us that by choosing to be alone, we don't lose ourselves, but instead find the most genuine version of who we are. 2. Solitude as a path to mindfulness. When we spend time alone, we give ourselves a chance to become more aware of what's happening inside our minds and hearts. This is called mindfulness, which means paying attention to our thoughts and feelings without being distracted. In the stillness of being by ourselves, we can truly focus on who we are. We begin to listen to our inner thoughts, almost like hearing whispers that we might miss when we're busy. We also start to notice how we feel emotionally. 
It's in these quiet, alone moments that we become more aware of our lives and what's going on within us. As Buddha once said, mindfulness means being awake. It means knowing what you are doing. When we are alone, it becomes easier to understand not just what we do, but why we do it. We start to think more deeply about our actions and what drives us to make certain choices. Being alone helps us to live a more thoughtful and aware life. It's in these moments that we can truly face our emotions, understanding them in ways that we usually can't when we're around others. When we're by ourselves, there are no outside distractions, and this gives us the chance to really think about our feelings and manage them better. By doing this, we start living in a more intentional way. Instead of reacting quickly without thinking, we pause and reflect, making decisions that feel right for us. This is what mindfulness is all about, being calm, aware and deliberate in our actions. It's about letting our inner awareness guide us in the best possible way. Buddhism, which is a belief system that encourages peace and inner growth, teaches us that being alone is a strong tool for achieving mindfulness. In many Buddhist practices, especially in meditation, there is a lot of focus on being alone with your thoughts. This quietness allows the mind to calm down and the heart to open up, creating a space for deep understanding. So, when we are alone, we are not escaping from the world. Instead, we are diving into the deepest parts of ourselves, looking for the calmness that lies within. In moments of solitude, your mind can become your best friend. You learn to listen to your thoughts without judging them, and you practice breathing deeply, which can help you find peace even when life gets tough. A simple way to practice this is through mindfulness meditation when you're alone. You can start by finding a quiet spot, sitting comfortably and closing your eyes. Focus on your breathing, paying attention to how you inhale and exhale. If any thoughts pop into your head, just notice them without holding on to them, like clouds floating by in the sky. Don't judge these thoughts or try to push them away. Just let them pass naturally. This type of practice not only helps us become more mindful, but also makes our minds sharper and better at making decisions. These skills are important when we're working toward our goals because they help us stay focused on what matters most. In a world that often feels like it's pulling us in many directions at once, moments of solitude can bring us back to what's really important. They help us reconnect with ourselves and that makes it easier to figure out what we truly want to achieve in life. Think of the story of a Zen master who found peace and understanding while meditating alone. In the silence of his solitude, he discovered the deepest parts of his mind and spirit. He realized that true growth and spiritual understanding come not from being surrounded by others, but from embracing the quiet moments we spend with ourselves. It's in these moments that we can fully experience mindfulness, unlocking new levels of personal and spiritual growth. In solitude, we are given the gift of time to explore our thoughts and emotions without any outside noise. By doing this regularly, we become more in tune with ourselves, and this leads to greater clarity in all areas of our lives. We begin to understand that mindfulness is not just something we practice occasionally, but a way of life. It's about being fully aware of every action we take, every emotion we feel, and every thought that crosses our mind. Solitude offers us the perfect environment to cultivate this awareness. By taking time for ourselves, we also become better at handling stress and making important decisions. When we are mindful, we are less likely to make quick, impulsive choices. Instead, we take a step back and consider all of our options carefully. This thoughtful approach helps us lead a more fulfilling and intentional life. Solitude, then, is not just a time to be alone. It's a time to grow, reflect, and become the best version of ourselves. Imagine standing by a peaceful river, watching the water flow by. 
The water represents your thoughts, and the riverbank is your solitude. When you stand on the bank, you can watch the water move without being swept away by it. This is what solitude allows us to do with our thoughts. We observe them without being carried away by their current. We remain grounded, peaceful, and aware. As you practice mindfulness in solitude, you might notice that your mind becomes clearer and your heart more open. You may begin to feel a sense of calm that was once hidden beneath the noise of everyday life. This calmness helps you approach challenges with more patience and wisdom. You'll find that mindfulness not only benefits your personal well-being, but also enhances your relationships with others. When you are more aware of your own thoughts and feelings, it becomes easier to understand and connect with the people around you. In the end, solitude is a gift that allows us to tune into the present moment, discover who we truly are, and live a life filled with intention and purpose. When we embrace the quietness of being alone, we open ourselves to endless possibilities for growth, peace, and self-discovery. 3. Find joy in your own company. To find happiness when you're by yourself is to discover a powerful source of strength and contentment. In a world that is often busy and filled with noise, being alone gives us a rare chance to explore joy that comes from within. We don't need other people to make us feel happy or give us confidence. Instead, we can find that happiness inside ourselves. As the Buddha once said, joy is a natural part of your mind. This means that true happiness doesn't come from things outside of us. Instead, it comes from understanding and accepting who we are. When we learn how to be happy with just ourselves, we become stronger and more confident we start to understand that the key to happiness is already inside us. Doing things we enjoy on our own is a great way to nurture this happiness. For example, you might enjoy reading a book that takes you to a different place, painting a picture that shows your feelings, or walking in a park where you can feel the ground under your feet. These activities become special moments where we can discover new things about ourselves. Developing hobbies and interests that bring you joy is a way to build a strong connection with yourself. When we enjoy doing things by ourselves, we learn to rely on ourselves for happiness rather than depending on others. We realize that we don't need anyone else to make us feel complete or whole. We already have everything we need within ourselves. Buddhism teaches us the importance of this, it encourages us to practice self-awareness, which means paying attention to how we feel and what we think, and self-compassion, which means being kind to ourselves. These teachings remind us that the joy we're looking for isn't out there in the world, but inside our own hearts and minds. The happiest moments in life come from within, and being alone is the perfect time to discover this. When we're alone, it's easier to recognize that we have the power to create our own happiness. It doesn't depend on what's happening around us or what other people think. We can feel joyful simply by connecting with our true selves. To practice finding happiness when you're by yourself, spend time doing activities that bring you peace. It could be something as simple as reading a book that inspires you, painting a picture that makes you feel calm, or taking a walk in nature and feeling connected to the earth. These quiet moments can become a safe place where you can reconnect with yourself and enjoy the simple things in life. Spending time alone and finding happiness in your own company isn't just important for personal joy. It also helps you achieve your goals. When you learn to be content by yourself, you build strength and independence. These qualities give you the courage to go after what you want in life without needing other people's approval. You become more confident in your decisions, knowing that you're on the right path, even if others don't always agree with you. This inner strength is like a compass, guiding you toward your goals and helping you stay true to your purpose. Let's think about the story of a hermit, someone who chose to live alone in the wilderness. 
This hermit was surrounded by nature, the rustling of leaves, the songs of birds, and the soft flow of a nearby stream. In his solitude, he found joy in these simple things. He didn't need fancy things or other people to make him happy. Instead, he embraced the present moment and found contentment in the beauty of the world around him. His story teaches us that true happiness isn't about what we have or who we're with. It's about how we see the world and ourselves in those quiet moments of being alone. Finding joy in your own company can transform the way you live your life. Instead of constantly seeking approval from others or relying on outside sources to make you happy, you'll learn to trust yourself. This trust will make you stronger, more focused and more determined to reach your goals. When you're happy with yourself, you don't need anyone else to tell you that you're on the right track. You already know it because you've taken the time to listen to your inner voice. Solitude, or the time you spend alone, becomes a safe place where you can explore your feelings, thoughts, and dreams. It's a time when you can be completely honest with yourself, free from the distractions of the outside world. This honesty is important because it allows you to understand what truly makes you happy and what doesn't. You become more aware of the things that bring you peace and fulfillment, and you start to make choices that align with those feelings. Being alone and enjoying your own company doesn't mean you don't care about others. In fact, it can make your relationships with others even better. When you're confident and content with yourself, you don't rely on others to make you feel good. This frees you to love and care for others without needing anything in return. You become more giving, understanding and compassionate because your happiness comes from within, not from what others do for you. So, how do you find joy in your own company? Start by dedicating time to activities that make you feel good. It could be something as simple as reading a good book, taking a walk in nature, or creating art that reflects your inner feelings. These moments of solitude are opportunities to connect with yourself and discover new sources of joy. Over time, you'll begin to see that you don't need anything or anyone outside of yourself to be happy. You have everything you need right inside you. As you continue to practice this, you'll find that your ability to focus and achieve your goals improves. You won't be distracted by what others think or feel because you're grounded in your own happiness. This inner peace becomes a powerful tool for navigating life's challenges. No matter what happens, you'll know that you can always find joy in your own company. And that's a priceless gift. In conclusion, finding joy in your own company is about unlocking a well of happiness that comes from within. It's about learning to be content with who you are and what you have, without needing validation from the outside world. By spending time alone, doing things you love and embracing the present moment, you create a sanctuary of happiness that can't be shaken by external circumstances. This inner joy will guide you through life, helping you achieve your goals with confidence and resilience, no matter what challenges you face. 4. The Power of Reflection When we spend time alone, we create the perfect space for reflecting on our lives. Solitude offers us a special quiet moment to think deeply about our experiences and learn from them. Reflection is not something we do passively. It is an active process where we look at our thoughts and past actions carefully. During these moments, we can pause, breathe deeply and think about the choices we've made and the paths we've walked. This helps us gain wisdom from everything we've been through. The Buddha wisely said, your work is to discover your world and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. This means that through reflection, we get to explore and understand our own lives more deeply. We can see the details of our personal world and with that clarity, commit fully to our goals and purpose. Solitude provides the perfect environment for this kind of reflection, free from distractions like noise or interruptions. 
It's in this quiet space that we can carefully think about the decisions we've made, understand why we made them, and learn from the outcomes. This reflection helps us make smarter choices in the future. When we are alone, we start to see our mistakes in a new light. Instead of feeling like failures, these mistakes become important lessons. Every mistake we make is an opportunity to learn something new about ourselves and the journey we're on. In Buddhism, reflection is seen as a key part of growing both spiritually and personally. By reflecting on our actions, we can understand how they affect us and others. This makes us more compassionate and wise, helping us to make better, more thoughtful decisions. In the peaceful moments of solitude, the lessons we've learned in life begin to reveal themselves clearly. It is in these moments of reflection that we gain the wisdom we need to move forward with grace and purpose. To make the most of this power of reflection, it's important to set aside time each day to be alone with your thoughts. You could spend this time journaling, writing down what you've learned or how you feel. Ask yourself questions about your day, like, what did I learn today? What could I have done differently? How did my actions match up with my goals and values? When you reflect like this every day, you continue to learn and grow, making sure that you stay connected with your true purpose in life. Reflecting on the journey you're on is crucial if you want to reach your goals. It gives you the chance to think about where you are now, where you've been in the past, and where you want to go in the future. Taking time to reflect helps you adjust your plans, improve the way you approach challenges, and stay focused on your path. Reflection acts like a compass, keeping you grounded in your purpose and guiding you through life's uncertainties. Let's imagine the story of a monk who, after serving his community for many years, decided to retreat into solitude to reflect on his life. In the silence, the monk looked back on every moment, every decision, and every lesson he had learned. Through deep reflection, he gained profound wisdom, understanding how all his experiences were connected. This story shows us how powerful reflection can be. By taking the time to look inward, we can unlock the secrets to living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Reflection is not just about thinking deeply, it's about learning how to grow from our experiences. When we pause to reflect, we begin to see how everything we've been through, whether good or bad, has shaped who we are today. Even the difficult times in our lives have something to teach us. By reflecting, we can turn those challenges into valuable lessons that help us make better decisions in the future. Solitude gives us the quiet space to do this without being rushed or distracted. The act of reflection also helps us become more mindful. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully aware of what's happening in the present moment. When we reflect, we become more in tune with our thoughts and feelings. We start to notice patterns in our behavior, how we react to certain situations, what triggers certain emotions, and how our actions affect others. This awareness helps us respond to life's challenges in a more thoughtful and compassionate way. Think of reflection as looking into a mirror. Just as a mirror shows us our physical appearance, reflection shows us our inner selves. It reveals our strengths, our weaknesses, and the areas where we can improve. By taking the time to reflect, we can better understand ourselves and make the changes we need to become the best version of who we are. Daily reflection doesn't have to take a lot of time. Even spending just a few minutes each day thinking about what you've learned can make a big difference. The more you reflect, the more you'll notice how much you've grown. Over time, this practice will help you become more confident, more focused and more aligned with your purpose. When we reflect in solitude, we also develop a deeper sense of gratitude. We start to appreciate the small moments and the simple joys in life. Reflection helps us see that even the tough times are part of our journey and that they play a role in helping us grow. 
As we reflect, we realize that everything we've experienced has brought us to where we are now, and this makes us more grateful for the path we're on. Solitude and reflection go hand in hand. When we take the time to be alone, we create space for deep thinking and introspection. It's in these quiet moments that we can truly connect with ourselves and gain a deeper understanding of who we are and what we want out of life. Reflection is like planting seeds in a garden. The more we reflect, the more those seeds grow, turning into wisdom that guides us on our journey. In conclusion, reflection in solitude is a powerful tool for personal growth. It allows us to look back on our lives, learn from our experiences, and gain the wisdom we need to move forward with purpose. By setting aside time each day for reflection, we can stay grounded in our goals, make better decisions, and live a life that is full of meaning and fulfillment. Just like the monk in the story, we can use the practice of reflection to unlock the secrets of a life well lived, gaining the insight and understanding needed to navigate our journey with grace. 5. Use alone time for creative pursuits. When we are alone, we give ourselves the perfect chance to be creative. Solitude creates a space where creativity can grow, far away from the distractions and pressures of the outside world. In these quiet moments, our minds are free to wander, and that's when imagination comes to life. Without the noise of daily life, we can explore ideas and possibilities that might have otherwise been hidden from us. It's in solitude that our creative energy can thrive and develop. As Buddha wisely said, the trouble is, you think you have time. This quote reminds us that time is precious and we shouldn't waste it. When we are alone, we begin to understand just how valuable each moment is. Solitude gives us the chance to use that time to work on creative projects and bring our visions to life. Creativity often blossoms in these quiet, solitary moments. When we are by ourselves, without the influence or opinions of others, our minds can roam free. This leads to new ideas, inventions and breakthroughs that we may not have thought of when surrounded by people or distractions. In solitude, there are no rules or expectations from society telling us what we can or can't do. We're not worried about what others might think or if they will judge us. This freedom allows us to create something truly unique. In Buddhism, solitude is seen as an important way to grow both spiritually and creatively. Monks often retreat into solitude, not just for meditation or prayer, but also to engage in creative activities. These times of quiet reflection help them on their spiritual journeys, and creativity becomes a way to express themselves that is both personal and deeply meaningful. When we embrace solitude, we open the door to endless creativity. In the stillness, our minds are capable of amazing things. We begin to uncover ideas and thoughts that were lying dormant because we were too busy to notice them. To make the most of solitude for creative purposes, it's important to dedicate time to activities that spark your passion. This could be anything, writing, painting, making music, or crafting something with your hands. The key is to let your imagination run wild without worrying about whether the result is perfect or not. Solitude should be the spark that fuels your creativity helping you discover new ideas and explore your inner thoughts. In these moments of creativity, you may realize that it's not just a fun activity, it's a way to understand yourself better. Being creative can bring a deep sense of fulfillment because it connects you with something greater within yourself. Creativity is more than just a hobby. It's an important tool for reaching your goals. When you think creatively, you can approach problems in new ways, come up with innovative solutions, and set goals that are uniquely yours. By nurturing creativity in solitude, you build a well of ideas that you can use in all areas of your life. 
This gives you an edge when it comes to achieving whatever you want to accomplish. Being creative helps you think outside the box and tackle challenges with fresh perspectives. It also enhances your ability to stick to your goals because you're not relying on anyone else's input. You're driven by your own passion and vision. Let's think about the story of an artist who found inspiration during his solitary retreats. He would spend time alone, away from the noise of everyday life. And during this time, his creativity flowed effortlessly. He created masterpieces that spoke to the depths of the human experience, pieces of art that were both powerful and transformative. His story shows us how solitude can unlock creativity in ways we may not expect. When we're alone, we are not isolated from the world. Instead, we're connected to the infinite possibilities that exist within us. Creativity doesn't just apply to art. It can be used in any area of life, whether it's solving a problem at work, coming up with new ideas for a project, or simply thinking of better ways to organize your daily tasks. When we allow ourselves to think creatively, we open up new doors to achieving success in all areas. Solitude gives us the time and space to really explore those creative thoughts without the pressure of having to meet someone else's expectations. One of the great things about creativity is that it helps us see the world differently. Instead of looking at problems as obstacles, we begin to see them as opportunities to try new approaches. Creative people are often the ones who come up with the most innovative solutions because they're not afraid to think differently. Solitude allows you to practice this kind of thinking regularly, giving you the freedom to experiment with new ideas. To really benefit from solitude and creativity, it's important to make it a habit. Set aside time each day or week to be alone with your thoughts and let your mind wander. Use this time to work on projects that excite you and allow your imagination to take over. Whether it's writing a short story, painting a picture or working on a personal goal, these moments of solitude will help you stay connected to your creative self. Another important thing to remember is that creativity doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to create something amazing, but the truth is that creativity is more about the process than the result. The joy of being creative comes from the freedom to explore new ideas without worrying about whether they will turn out perfectly. Solitude gives you the chance to enjoy this process fully without any outside pressures. In conclusion, solitude is a powerful tool for nurturing creativity. It gives us the space we need to explore our thoughts, discover new ideas, and express ourselves in ways that may not be possible when we're surrounded by others. By embracing these moments of quiet, we unlock our true creative potential and connect with the infinite possibilities that lie within us. Just like the artist who created masterpieces during his time alone, we too can tap into our creativity and use it to make a meaningful impact on our lives and the world around us. So, the next time you find yourself alone, don't see it as a time to be bored or lonely. Instead, use it as an opportunity to dive into your creative side and discover the incredible things your mind is capable of. Whether you're working on a new idea, solving a problem, or simply exploring your imagination, Solitude is the key to unlocking the endless creative potential that resides within each of us. 6. Strengthen your inner voice When we spend time alone, we discover the powerful voice inside us, the quiet inner voice that helps guide us along our true path in life. This inner voice is often hard to hear when we're surrounded by the opinions and expectations of others. But in moments of solitude, when we are free from all the noise, we can hear it more clearly. It is during these times of stillness that we uncover our deepest truths and begin to connect with our authentic selves. As Buddha once said, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. 
This quote reminds us that the answers we seek aren't out in the world. They're already within us. In solitude, we come to realize that the answers to many of our questions are found in the quiet corners of our hearts. The more time we spend alone, the stronger our inner voice becomes. Without the distractions of everyday life, we can focus on our own thoughts and feelings, gaining a deeper understanding of what truly matters to us. This connection with our inner self helps us resist the pressures of the outside world, giving us the strength to stay true to our values and make decisions that align with what is best for us. In a world where we are constantly pulled in many directions, by work, social media and the opinions of others, solitude becomes a place of peace and quiet, where the noise fades away. It's in these moments that our inner wisdom can come forward and guide us. When everything around us is quiet, that's when our inner voice speaks the loudest. Buddhism teaches us to listen to this inner voice because it is a voice of wisdom and compassion. It acts like a compass, guiding us toward the right actions and helping us find our true path in life. Through mindfulness and self-reflection, we can develop the ability to hear this inner guidance and over time, we learn to trust it. In solitude, we are not swayed by the desires of the ego or by the temporary opinions of others. Instead, we become grounded in something much deeper, a strong sense of purpose that comes from within. This inner knowing helps us make choices that feel right for us, even when they're difficult. To strengthen your inner voice, it's important to regularly spend time in silence. Make it a habit to disconnect from the busy world and turn your attention inward. You can do this by sitting in meditation, writing in a journal about your thoughts, or even taking a quiet walk in nature. These activities help you focus on your inner feelings without judgment. As you practice listening to your inner voice, you'll notice that it becomes a source of guidance and strength, especially when you're faced with tough decisions. When things feel uncertain, your inner voice can provide clarity and direction. A strong inner voice is essential for achieving your goals because it keeps you focused and motivated even when the road ahead is challenging. When you trust your inner guidance, you are more likely to stay committed to your path even when obstacles arise. This sense of resolve, born from your inner strength, is what pushes you forward and helps you reach your true potential. Think of the story of a monk who went on a solitary retreat. During this time alone, he listened carefully to his inner voice and found his true path. In the silence of his retreat, the monk was able to clear away his doubts and fears. He reconnected with his deepest desires and dreams, and this inner wisdom helped him choose the path that felt most right for his spirit. It wasn't the easiest path, but it was the one that was true to him. His story teaches us that in solitude, we don't just find ourselves, we also find the courage to follow a path that is uniquely ours. Your inner voice is like a trusted friend who knows what's best for you. But to hear it clearly, you need to spend time alone, away from the distractions of the outside world. Solitude gives you the space to reflect and listen to what your heart is telling you. The more you listen, the stronger this voice becomes. It will guide you through difficult decisions, help you navigate challenges, and encourage you to stay true to yourself, no matter what others may say or think. One of the most important things about developing your inner voice is learning to trust it. At first, it may be hard to believe that you have all the answers inside of you. You might doubt yourself or worry about making the wrong choices. But the more you practice listening to your inner voice, the more confident you'll become in trusting its wisdom. Over time, you'll see that this inner guidance leads you in the right direction, helping you make decisions that align with your true self. Solitude also helps you build self-reliance. When you rely on your inner voice for guidance, you become less dependent on the opinions of others. 
You don't need external validation to feel good about your choices because you know that your decisions come from a place of truth within you. This kind of self-reliance gives you the strength to pursue your goals, even when others may not understand or support you. In solitude, we can also find clarity about our life's purpose. When the noise of everyday life quiets down, we have the opportunity to reflect on what we truly want to achieve. This clarity helps us set meaningful goals and stay focused on the things that matter most to us. By tuning into our inner voice, we can make choices that bring us closer to living a life that is aligned with our deepest values. In conclusion, solitude is a powerful tool for discovering and strengthening our inner voice. When we spend time alone, we can hear this voice more clearly and use it to guide us on our true path. By listening to our inner wisdom, we find the courage to make decisions that are right for us, even when they're difficult. Over time, this inner voice becomes a source of strength and guidance, helping us achieve our goals and stay true to ourselves. Just like the monk who found his path during a solitary retreat, we too can discover our purpose and the courage to follow it by listening to the quiet wisdom within us. 7. Develop resilience through solitude. Solitude, although often misunderstood, is one of the greatest teachers when it comes to building resilience. Resilience is our ability to handle difficulties and bounce back from setbacks. When we face challenges alone, we are pushed to rely on our inner strength, finding the courage and determination needed to overcome problems. This process isn't always easy, but it's an important part of growing stronger. As Buddha wisely said, what we think, we become. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. This quote reminds us that our thoughts shape who we are. When we use solitude to focus on positive, empowering thoughts, we become stronger and more resilient, able to face life's difficulties with grace and determination. Solitude creates the perfect environment for building mental and emotional strength. It's during our time alone that we are forced to confront our fears, doubts and insecurities without relying on others for support. This helps us develop self-reliance, showing us that we can face tough situations and come out stronger. Solitude helps us realize that we don't always need outside validation or support. Our true strength lies within ourselves. By spending time alone, we gain a deeper understanding of our own capabilities, which builds our resilience. When we embrace solitude, we begin to depend less on the opinions of others and more on our own inner wisdom. This is where real resilience is born. Resilience is forged in the fires of solitude. It's here that we learn to endure, to push through difficulties and to grow even when the odds seem stacked against us. In Buddhism, solitude is seen as a key practice for building resilience, especially when it comes to dealing with the challenges of the mind. Through practices like meditation and self-reflection, we learn to calm the storm of our thoughts and emotions, creating a peaceful and steady mind. This inner stillness becomes the foundation on which we build resilience. When our mind is calm and centered, we are better equipped to handle life's challenges with composure and balance. Being alone doesn't mean we are escaping the world. Instead, it's a way to prepare ourselves to face the world more fully, with the strength that comes from truly knowing ourselves. Solitude gives us the time and space to reflect on our lives, confront our fears, and strengthen our resolve. To develop resilience through solitude, it's important to use your alone time to reflect on the challenges you face. Think about the fears and worries that hold you back and try to approach them with courage and determination. Whether it's through meditation, writing in a journal, or sitting quietly in deep thought, allow yourself to confront these inner obstacles head on. Each challenge you overcome in solitude builds your inner strength and makes you more resilient. Resilience isn't just something that's nice to have. It's essential if you want to reach your goals.
The path to success is rarely smooth. It's full of obstacles and setbacks that test your determination. Developing resilience in solitude equips you with the mental and emotional tools you need to keep going, even when the journey gets tough. It ensures that you stay focused on your goals, no matter how many challenges you face along the way. Imagine the story of a warrior monk who chose to train alone in the mountains, far away from the comfort and safety of his monastery. In the harsh conditions of the wilderness, the monk faced his deepest fears and pushed his body and mind to the limit. Every day was a struggle, but the solitude gave him the space he needed to develop both physical and mental strength. When he finally returned from his solitary training, he was not only stronger in body, but also unbreakable in mind. His story teaches us that while solitude can be challenging, it is one of the most powerful ways to develop the resilience needed to face life's greatest difficulties and come out stronger than before. Solitude allows us to take a step back from the noise of the world and focus on ourselves. It gives us the opportunity to reflect on our challenges and figure out how we can approach them with strength and wisdom. When we are alone, we aren't distracted by the opinions of others or the chaos of daily life. Instead, we can concentrate fully on our thoughts and emotions, which helps us understand how to better deal with challenges. Resilience is built one step at a time. Every time we face a problem and find a way to overcome it, we become a little stronger. And when we face challenges in solitude, we learn to trust ourselves. We realize that we are capable of handling whatever comes our way. This self-trust is the foundation of resilience. Once we believe in ourselves and our abilities, we can face any obstacle with confidence. Solitude also teaches us patience. When we are alone, we learn that not every problem has a quick solution. Sometimes we have to sit with our challenges, think them through, and find the right approach. This patience is a key part of resilience. It helps us stay calm and focused, even when things don't go according to plan. In addition to patience, solitude also gives us the time to plan for the future. When we are alone, we can think clearly about our goals and how to achieve them. We can reflect on past challenges, learn from our mistakes, and come up with strategies to move forward. This type of reflection helps us become more resilient because it prepares us for the obstacles we may face in the future. In conclusion, solitude is a powerful tool for building resilience. It gives us the time and space to reflect on our challenges, confront our fears, and develop the inner strength needed to handle whatever life throws our way. Resilience is not something that comes easily, but with practice and patience, it can be developed. Solitude helps us become more self-reliant, patient, and strong. It allows us to connect with our inner wisdom and trust ourselves to handle difficult situations. Just like the warrior monk who became stronger through solitary training, we too can become more resilient by embracing solitude and using it as a time for growth and reflection. So, the next time you find yourself alone, don't see it as a time to feel isolated or disconnected. Instead, use it as an opportunity to build your resilience, strengthen your mind, and prepare yourself for the challenges ahead. Through solitude, you can develop the mental and emotional fortitude needed to thrive in all areas of life, no matter how difficult the journey may be. 8. Turn solitude into spiritual growth. In the practice of solitude, we discover a rich opportunity for spiritual growth, a key concept in Buddhist teachings. When we allow ourselves to be alone, we create a special, quiet space for meditation and a deep connection with our inner self. This space is sacred, where real spiritual growth happens and where the distractions of the outside world fade away. In these moments, the hidden parts of ourselves come into focus and we begin to understand the deeper truths about our existence. Buddha's wisdom shows us the way. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back. 
and choose the path that leads to wisdom. Solitude gives us the chance to explore this wisdom, guiding us along the path toward enlightenment. In the quiet of solitude, we are given the rare gift of diving deeper into meditation and other spiritual practices. Without the noise of daily life distracting us, we can explore the mysteries of our own mind and spirit, strengthening our connection with the universe and ourselves. This deep meditation helps us see the interconnectedness of all things, how everything is linked in some way. Through solitude, we come to understand that we are not separate from the world, but are part of a much larger whole. It's during these quiet, reflective moments that we begin to uncover our true purpose and align ourselves with the flow of the universe. Buddhist teachings stress the importance of solitude when seeking spiritual awakening and enlightenment. One of the most powerful examples of this is Buddha's own journey. After many years of searching for the truth, it was through deep meditation and solitude under the Bodhi tree that Buddha found the answers he had been looking for. In this profound stillness, he transcended the distractions of the mind and reached a state of ultimate clarity and peace. Buddha's journey shows us that solitude isn't just about withdrawing from the world. Instead, it's about turning inward a journey to better understand ourselves and experience real spiritual growth. In solitude, we take a break from the noise of the world and look within to find clarity. It's a process of self-discovery and spiritual development that can help us reach new levels of awareness and wisdom. To transform solitude into spiritual growth, it's important to set aside time each day for meditation and self-reflection, Use this time to connect with your inner self and explore the deeper questions of life. When you do this regularly, you'll find that solitude becomes a sanctuary for your soul, a place where true peace and clarity are found. This inner peace is not only vital for spiritual growth, but also serves as the foundation for pursuing and achieving your most meaningful goals. By embracing solitude and practicing meditation, we open the door to greater understanding. We begin to see the world and ourselves more clearly, realizing that the answers we seek often lie within. Meditation allows us to quiet the constant chatter of our thoughts and tune into a deeper level of awareness. This awareness helps guide us toward making wise choices and living a life aligned with our highest values. Solitude also gives us the chance to reflect on our lives and our purpose. Without the distractions of the outside world, we can ask ourselves important questions. Why am I here? What is my purpose? How can I live in a way that brings me closer to spiritual truth? By taking the time to reflect, we align ourselves with the flow of the universe, understanding that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. In conclusion, solitude is a powerful tool for spiritual growth. It offers us the space to meditate, reflect, and connect with our inner selves. Through regular practice, solitude becomes more than just a time to be alone. It becomes a sanctuary for the soul, where we can find peace, clarity, and a deeper understanding of our purpose in life. By following the example of Buddha and dedicating ourselves to meditation in solitude, we can achieve spiritual growth, wisdom and inner peace, which serve as the foundation for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Set personal goals in solitude. In the quiet moments of solitude, we discover the perfect environment to set and reflect on our personal goals. Away from the noise and influence of others, we can focus solely on what truly matters to us. These times of peaceful reflection give us the clarity to see the path ahead and the courage to set goals that align with our deepest values and desires. As Buddha wisely said, there are only two mistakes one can make along the road to truth, not going all the way and not starting. Solitude gives us the space to think deeply about this truth, ensuring that we not only start on the right path, 
but also commit fully to our journey. Solitude helps us tune in to what is most important. It allows us to create a clear, authentic path toward our goals without distractions. When we are alone, we can listen to our inner voice, free from the expectations of others or society. This freedom helps us define what success truly means to us. In the quiet of solitude, we can focus on what we really want without being influenced by external pressures. This is where our dreams start to take shape. When we spend time alone, we have the chance to set goals that are meaningful and personal. These goals are not based on what others expect of us, but on what feels right in our hearts. In solitude, we can picture the future we want for ourselves with clarity and purpose. This is where our vision for a better life becomes clear and we can set goals that align with who we truly are. Buddhism encourages setting intentions and goals that are in harmony with our true selves. It teaches that our goals should be based on what we value most and what helps us grow spiritually. The story of a Zen master who found his life's purpose in solitude is a powerful reminder of this. By withdrawing from the noise of the world and spending time in deep reflection, the Zen master was able to set a path for himself that led to a fulfilling and meaningful life. His story shows us the power of setting goals in solitude. When we are clear about our purpose, we are more likely to live a life of meaning and fulfillment. When we are alone, we have the opportunity to think carefully about what we want to achieve. This is the best time to set personal goals because we can focus entirely on ourselves without distractions. In solitude, we can reflect on our values, passions and what truly makes us happy. These reflections help us set goals that are meaningful and aligned with our true desires. Setting goals this way ensures that they are not influenced by what others think we should do, but are truly ours. Setting personal goals in solitude also allows us to be honest with ourselves. We can take a moment to reflect on where we are in life, where we want to be, and how we can get there. In these quiet moments, we can make sure that our goals are realistic and achievable while also challenging ourselves to grow. We can set goals that resonate with our values and passions, ensuring that the path we take is one that will bring us joy and fulfillment. To set personal goals in solitude, begin by taking some time each day to be alone and reflect on what you truly want to achieve. Ask yourself questions like, what do I value most? What brings me joy and satisfaction? How can I make a difference in my life and the lives of others? By reflecting on these questions, you can begin to define goals that align with your inner self and guide you toward a more fulfilling life. One important thing to remember when setting goals in solitude is that they should come from your heart, not from external influences. It's easy to get caught up in what others expect of us, but true fulfillment comes from setting goals that are meaningful to you. This means setting goals that are in line with your values, passions and long-term desires. By doing this, you ensure that the goals you set are truly yours and the journey you take to achieve them will be more rewarding. Solitude is a powerful tool for goal setting because it helps us focus on what is truly important it allows us to listen to our own thoughts and feelings without being swayed by the opinions of others. This clarity and focus not only help us achieve our goals, but also ensure that the path we are on leads to true fulfillment and happiness. In conclusion, setting personal goals in solitude gives us the opportunity to connect with our inner self and align our goals with what truly matters to us. By taking time to reflect in solitude, we can set goals that are authentic, meaningful, and in line with our deepest values. This clarity and focus help us stay committed to our goals and ensure that the path we are on is one that leads to joy and fulfillment. Just like the Zen master, we can use solitude to define our purpose and create a life that is truly fulfilling. Nine. 
Differentiate between solitude and loneliness. There is a significant difference between solitude and loneliness, a distinction that holds the key to transforming time spent alone into a powerful tool for personal growth. Solitude is a choice, a deliberate decision to spend time with oneself to reflect, learn, and grow. On the other hand, loneliness is a feeling, an emotional state often marked by a sense of isolation and emptiness. Understanding this difference allows us to approach solitude with a positive mindset, turning what might seem like an empty space into fertile ground for self-discovery and empowerment. Buddha's wisdom beautifully captures this transformation. Better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles, then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. When we choose solitude, we take the first step toward mastering ourselves, learning more about our inner world and becoming victorious in our personal journey. Solitude gives us strength, while loneliness can be seen as an opportunity to cultivate self-compassion and understanding. When we embrace solitude, we are choosing to spend time in our own company. In these moments, we listen to our thoughts, reflect on our experiences, and understand our deepest desires and fears. Solitude becomes a space for self-reflection and growth, a peaceful sanctuary where we can heal, reflect, and build inner strength. Loneliness, though often painful, can be transformed in a similar way. By approaching it with self-compassion and a willingness to understand where it comes from, we can turn loneliness into a chance for deeper connection with ourselves. Solitude is a choice. Loneliness is a feeling. By choosing solitude, we empower ourselves. We take control of our narrative, deciding how we use our alone time and how we view it. Buddhism teaches that our mind shapes our experiences, and solitude provides a perfect example of this. With the right mindset, Solitude becomes a powerful experience, a time for deep reflection, meditation, and personal growth. It's a chance to step away from the busy noise of the world and focus on the quiet, often overlooked voices within us. Buddhism encourages us to see solitude not as an empty void that needs to be filled, but as a rich space for exploring the depths of our own mind and finding peace. It's during these quiet moments that we can reconnect with our true selves and align more closely with our spiritual path. Instead of feeling like something is missing, solitude gives us the chance to explore who we are and what we truly want in life. To understand the difference between solitude and loneliness, it's important to practice seeing solitude as a positive, empowering choice. Use this time to cultivate self-love and inner strength. Remind yourself that being alone doesn't mean being lonely. There's a big difference between spending time alone because you choose to and feeling lonely because you feel isolated. When you embrace solitude as a choice, you gain the power to control how you experience that time. Engage in activities that nourish your soul, such as meditation, journaling, or spending time in nature. These practices help you fill your alone time with meaning and purpose. Instead of feeling lonely, you'll find that solitude becomes a valuable tool for your personal growth. Meditation helps calm the mind and brings clarity, while journaling allows you to explore your thoughts and feelings in a deeper way. Spending time in nature offers peace and connection, reminding us of the beauty and simplicity of life. When we fill our time with meaningful practices, we can turn solitude into a powerful tool for achieving our goals. This shift in perspective is important for living a fulfilled life. When we understand that solitude is an empowering choice, we can use our alone time effectively, focusing on personal growth, goal-setting and self-reflection, rather than letting feelings of loneliness take over. The importance of this distinction cannot be overstated, especially when it comes to achieving our goals. Solitude offers a chance to focus on what truly matters. It allows us to think clearly about our dreams and ambitions without being distracted by the opinions or expectations of others. In solitude, 
we can map out a path toward our goals with clarity and purpose, knowing that we are making decisions based on what feels right for us, rather than what others expect of us. Consider the story of a sage who found peace in solitude, despite being misunderstood by others. The sage chose solitude as a path to deeper understanding and spiritual growth. While those around him saw his solitude as loneliness, the sage saw it as a powerful choice, a way to connect with his inner self and the world around him. His solitude became a space for reflection, meditation, and personal transformation. Through solitude, he found true peace, not from the presence of others, but from a deep and abiding connection with himself. The sage's story reminds us that when we choose solitude, we choose empowerment. We take control of our journey, finding clarity and purpose in the quiet moments of self-reflection. Solitude gives us the strength to pursue our goals with confidence, knowing that we are aligned with our true values and desires. Just like the sage, we can use solitude to deepen our connection with ourselves and achieve our goals with a clear sense of purpose. By embracing solitude, we can learn to see it as a time for growth and self-discovery. Instead of feeling isolated, we can use this time to reflect on who we are and what we want to achieve. We can set meaningful goals, practice self-compassion, and build inner strength. Solitude becomes a powerful tool for transformation, helping us grow into the best version of ourselves. In conclusion, understanding the difference between solitude and loneliness allows us to turn alone time into a powerful opportunity for growth. Solitude is an intentional choice, one that gives us the space to reflect, grow and connect with our true selves. Loneliness, while painful, can be transformed when we approach it with compassion and understanding. By embracing solitude as a positive, empowering choice, we can use our alone time to focus on personal growth, achieve our goals, and live a life of clarity and purpose. Just like the sage, we can find peace and strength in solitude, knowing that true fulfillment comes from within. 10 recharge and rejuvenate. In the quiet embrace of solitude, we discover a sanctuary where our souls can recharge and rejuvenate. To be alone is not the same as being lonely. It's an opportunity to spend time in the presence of ourselves, to listen to the gentle whispers of our inner world, and to reconnect with our deeper purpose. The Buddha taught, to keep the body in good health is a duty, Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. This teaching reminds us that if we do not take care of both our body and mind, we cannot face life's challenges with clarity and strength. Solitude provides the sacred space needed to take care of ourselves. In solitude, we create space for rest, recovery and renewal. It's a time when we can find the calmness we need to soothe our tired spirits and heal from the constant pressures of the outside world. Buddhism teaches that taking time for yourself is not an act of selfishness, but rather a vital practice of self-care. Solitude offers us the opportunity to let go of the noise and chaos that fill our minds. We release the stress, the worries, and the never-ending tasks allowing ourselves to return to a state of peaceful being. In these still moments, the body begins to restore its energy and the mind regains its focus. This process of recharging prepares us to handle life's stress and challenges with greater resilience. Just as a tree sheds its leaves to conserve energy during the winter, we too must retreat from the busyness of the world, if only for a short time, to preserve our vitality. Solitude becomes a space where the soul finds its strength. This is not just a poetic idea, but a reality that can be experienced by anyone who practices it. The moments we spend alone, whether through mindful breathing, meditation, or simply sitting in stillness, are the moments that build our inner strength. 
In these quiet times, we create a reservoir of peace, clarity and resilience that helps us face the world without being overwhelmed by its demands. When we regularly practice solitude, we awaken to a deeper understanding of who we are, a self that is not defined by the expectations or opinions of others, but by our own inner wisdom and calmness. There is a powerful story of a monk who experienced this transformation firsthand. After many years of intense work and spiritual practice, the monk began to feel exhausted and disconnected from his purpose. His spirit was growing weak and he knew something needed to change. The monk decided to withdraw into solitude, spending his days in silent meditation and simple living, away from the distractions of the monastery and its daily routines. At first, he struggled with being alone. He felt restless and uncomfortable, unsure of how to quiet his mind. But as the days turned into weeks, a transformation began to take place. The monk's weariness started to lift, and a new sense of energy and clarity arose within him. The stillness and simplicity of his solitude allowed him to reconnect with his inner self and rediscover his purpose. By the end of his solitary retreat, the monk felt not only physically renewed, but also mentally and spiritually recharged. He emerged from his time alone with a clearer vision of his path ahead, and when he returned to his community, he was filled with renewed energy and purpose. His time spent in solitude had recharged his spirit, allowing him to continue his work with greater dedication and strength. The monk's story shows us that solitude is not just about stepping away from the world, it's about stepping into a space where we can renew ourselves from within. In solitude, we give ourselves the chance to heal, to rest, and to regain the strength needed to pursue our life's purpose with passion and clarity. To achieve our goals, it is essential that we honor the need to step back and rejuvenate. Solitude is not a luxury that we can indulge in only when we have the time. It's a necessity for our well-being. It is through the practice of solitude that we ensure we have the mental, physical and spiritual strength to stay committed to our goals. By taking regular time to be alone, to rest, reflect and recharge, we make sure that our journey toward our dreams is not only driven by determination, but also sustainable in the long run. Solitude gives us the space to think deeply about our lives and the direction we want to go. It allows us to reflect on the progress we've made and the challenges we've faced, giving us the clarity to make better decisions and move forward with confidence. In these moments of quiet reflection, we can assess whether the path we're on still aligns with our values and purpose. This reflection helps us avoid burnout and ensures that we remain focused on what truly matters. In addition to rest and reflection, solitude also provides us with the opportunity to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in the moment, is a powerful tool for reducing stress and increasing mental clarity. When we practice mindfulness in solitude, we can become more aware of our thoughts and feelings which helps us better understand our emotions and reactions. This awareness allows us to respond to challenges with calmness and wisdom, rather than reacting impulsively. Regularly embracing solitude also strengthens our ability to be self-reliant. When we spend time alone, we learn to depend on ourselves for comfort and support. This self-reliance builds confidence and resilience which are essential qualities for overcoming obstacles and achieving our goals. By nurturing our inner strength through solitude, we develop the mental and emotional resources needed to face life's difficulties with courage and determination. In conclusion, solitude is a powerful practice that helps us recharge, rejuvenate and realign with our deeper purpose. It is not a luxury, but a necessity for maintaining balance in our busy lives. By taking time to rest, reflect, and practice mindfulness in solitude, we build the strength and clarity needed to pursue our goals with unwavering dedication.
The story of the monk reminds us that solitude can transform us from within, allowing us to return to the world with renewed energy and purpose. In the quiet embrace of solitude, we prepare ourselves to face the world anew, stronger, more focused, and more determined than ever before. Solitude is not an escape from life. It is a return to the self, a sacred space where we can heal, grow, and become the best version of ourselves. By committing to the practice of solitude, we ensure that we are not only relentless in our pursuit of our goals, but also grounded, resilient, and ready to face whatever challenges come our way. Bonus Principle Enhance problem-solving skills and cultivate independence. Solitude is like a crucible where the mind is sharpened, allowing us to focus more deeply and solve problems with greater clarity. In the stillness of being alone, we move beyond the constant noise of daily life and enter a space where deep thinking and reflection become possible. When we are surrounded by distractions, whether from people, technology, or even our own thoughts, our ability to think critically often becomes dull. But when we step into solitude, our mind clears like a calm lake reflecting the truth of our situation and showing us the paths we can take to overcome the challenges before us. In these quiet moments of contemplation, we can break down our problems, look at them from different angles and find creative solutions. As Buddha wisely said, in the end, these things matter most. How well did you love? How fully did you live? How deeply did you let go? In solitude, we learn to let go of old ideas and assumptions, which opens the door for new insights to emerge. The deep silence of solitude gives us the space to turn problems into opportunities, helping us see beyond the surface and reach the core of what matters. When we spend time alone, we are forced to confront our own thoughts and emotions. There are no distractions to hide behind, no escape from the truth we carry within. This is where true problem-solving begins. In solitude, we move past superficial thinking and dive deep into the essence of the challenges we face. We begin to understand the root causes of our fears, doubts and insecurities. By sitting with ourselves, we learn to ask the right questions, and in doing so, we often find the right answers. Solitude transforms problems into opportunities. When we remove the noise of the outside world, we gain the clarity and insight needed to see solutions that might have remained hidden in the clutter of everyday life. In this quiet space, our problems can become stepping stones, guiding us toward growth, wisdom, and understanding. In addition to enhancing problem solving, solitude helps cultivate independence, a quality that is essential for personal growth and self-reliance in a world that often encourages us to seek validation, comfort or direction from others. Solitude teaches us the strength of standing on our own. It shows us how to trust our instincts and follow our own path without constantly seeking approval. As Buddha said, no one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. These words remind us that the journey to self-mastery and achieving our goals is, ultimately, a solitary one. No one can do it for us. We must have the courage to walk alone, embracing both the uncertainty and challenges along the way. Independence isn't about isolating ourselves from others. It's about not needing others to define our worth or dictate our path. It means being strong enough to carve out our own destiny without seeking approval or reassurance. When we spend time in solitude, we build an unshakable foundation within ourselves. We learn to rely on our own inner strength, wisdom and ability to navigate life's challenges without leaning on others for support. Solitude is the birthplace of independence it's where we learn to listen to our own voice, untainted by the opinions and expectations of others. 
It's where we learn to trust ourselves deeply, knowing that we are fully capable of facing whatever comes our way. Through solitude, we develop the courage to embrace our individuality and walk our path with confidence. It teaches us that we are enough, just as we are, and that we possess everything within us to achieve our goals. Solitude provides us with the opportunity to step away from the constant noise of the world and tune into our inner selves. It gives us the space to reflect on who we are, what we want, and how we plan to get there. This process is essential for personal growth, as it helps us understand our strengths, weaknesses, and desires without the influence of external opinions. In this space, we come to trust ourselves more fully, realizing that we have everything we need to succeed. One of the most powerful aspects of solitude is that it helps us become more self-reliant. When we spend time alone, we learn to depend on ourselves for guidance, comfort, and direction. This self-reliance builds confidence as we begin to see that we are capable of handling life's challenges on our own. We no longer need to look to others for validation or approval because we trust ourselves to make the right choices. Spending time in solitude also gives us the opportunity to think deeply about our goals and aspirations. Without the distractions of daily life, we can focus on what truly matters to us and what steps we need to take to achieve our dreams. Solitude allows us to gain clarity about our life's purpose and the path we need to follow. It helps us become more intentional in our actions, making sure that every decision we make is aligned with our values and desires. Solitude becomes a sanctuary where we connect with our deepest selves and emerge stronger, more resilient and ready to face the world on our own terms. It is in these moments of quiet reflection that we discover our true power, the power to think deeply, to solve problems, and to stand tall in our independence. Through solitude, we come to realize that the journey of being alone is not a journey of loneliness, but one of profound self-discovery and empowerment. When we embrace solitude, we are not running away from the world. Instead, we are preparing ourselves to engage with it more fully, with greater strength, focus, and determination. Solitude provides us with the mental clarity and emotional resilience needed to face life's challenges without being overwhelmed by them. It helps us see the bigger picture and approach problems with a calm and thoughtful mindset. In conclusion, solitude is a powerful tool for sharpening the mind, cultivating independence and deepening our problem-solving abilities. It gives us the space to reflect on our lives understand our challenges, and find innovative solutions. Solitude teaches us to rely on our inner strength and wisdom, helping us become more self-reliant and confident in our ability to navigate life's complexities. It is through solitude that we connect with our true selves, gaining the clarity and insight needed to achieve our goals and live a life of purpose. By embracing solitude, we learn to trust ourselves think deeply, and stand tall in our independence. Solitude is not a journey of isolation, but one of empowerment, where we discover our true potential and find the strength to walk our path with confidence. In the stillness of being alone, we realize that we have everything we need within us to succeed, and that the journey to self-mastery is one we must take on our own. Conclusion Embrace solitude to achieve your goals. Embracing solitude isn't about withdrawing from the world, but about finding the true depth of yourself within it. It's during those quiet moments, away from the distractions and demands of daily life, that we begin to truly understand who we are and what we are capable of achieving. Solitude is a powerful tool for personal and spiritual growth. It offers us the space we need to gain clarity, spark creativity, and build resilience. When we spend time alone, we learn to listen to our inner voice, sharpen our focus, and fuel the passions that drive us. The journey inward is not always easy. 
but it's in these moments that the seeds of greatness are planted. Remember, the path to achieving your goals often begins in solitude. It is here that you can tap into your inner strength and move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Solitude helps you discover not only your true self, but also the strength to become everything you are meant to be. If this message inspired you, be sure to like and share it with others who may benefit from this wisdom. Don't forget to subscribe to Life Lessons for more insights inspired by Buddhist philosophy and teachings. Your journey to greatness begins with a single step. Embrace the power of solitude and unlock your full potential.